I've worked for many companies. I've been in this industry for close to 48 years. Seen a lot of good things. Seen some not so good things. Travel the world. And I came to Arterix thinking I knew it all. And apparently I didn't. My name's Keith Cotman. I'm the factory manager at the Arterix factory in Vancouver. The name of the factory is Art One. And it opened fully May 15th of 2016. Art One is the largest technical product factory in Canada. We've got a large number of people in our factory here in Vancouver making a variety of highly technical, skilled, labor required products. When I started, actually, I was uh, employee number 21. It used to be one building, and uh, you can imagine 1995, it was very small. Now that we moved to the Arc One, Arc One is very big, right? Just from one side, you go another side, it takes like 10 minutes. As the business grew, uh, manufacturing grew together as well, to the point where we did not have enough space. So we had to move to a much bigger location because it's important to have a footprint in Canada. Most brands have taken their manufacturing out of North America. The difference with us is that we've chosen to maintain the knowledge of manufacturing and not let it go. Our product is first and foremost quality-based. It's not about pushing out numbers. I don't think we mass produce, I think we mass craft. The factory was originally bolted right to the head office and we've always maintained that connection to the factory. And so with that comes an inherent understanding of how to run a factory. And you couple that with a design and development team that understands how to build. You get something very rare and powerful. The fact that within a stone's throw away of our design center, we have a manufacturing facility is an incredibly rare thing. You know, that you can go from factory to high alpine in about an hour and a half is almost unheard of. Having Arc One near um, the design center is the design center's playground to manufacture. In a North American world where there aren't a lot of people who grow up in factories, it becomes a training ground for our design team, our development team. Having the Arc One so close means that we can go over and just check things out and we can learn from Arc One, Arc One can learn from us. Whereas if it's overseas, you know, a few grand and many hours later, it takes a lot more time to get over there. I mean, I think that's something that's quite unique about the way we work. Going back to earlier in my career, like it was an amazing opportunity because uh, as a new designer, I was able to do pattern making and fabric development and product development. And so I personally got a full like exposure to the industry right from conception through the manufacturing process. It's very important and I listen to like designers and for them also it's very important we have a factory here. If we don't have a factory here, then I think they cannot see actual product before it's coming from overseas. Factory overseas might say, you can't do that construction, it's just not possible. And then we can work with Arc One and actually prove out that in terms of manufacturing, it is possible and this is how you do it. One example would be redesigning the Alpha SV jacket. We could make full prototypes in-house, hand those off to our factory, which is 25 minutes away, and then work with the team at the factory to see if they have any manufacturing issues or, you know, potentially they could have a better idea of how to improve the steps of how the product is constructed. When you understand manufacturability, you're able to design it in a way where you're always thinking about what's it like for the operator to put these two things together? What's it like to cut? What's it like to laminate this? It 
it's easy to innovate a product and create one, two of those products that has some really superior innovations. But the real skill is being able to create those innovations across 500 or 1,000 or 2,000 products. And so it's not just the innovation, it's the actual how you make it. We do testing, we do first proto, we do by ourselves, we know challenges, we know if there is a fabric problem, if there is a tooling requirement, we can all iron out this one before we send it to a factory to make for us. And I heard many, many of the factory, they told us, they said Arthrex, they love work for Arthrex because Arthrex has everything like a package, we give them as a package, we get this is done. I'd say Arc One's the foundation for our global factories. It really is the start of where Arc'teryx has come from, and it's kind of going to remain that. What we've learned in Arc One here, and what we learned in our previous factory, we take to those offshore factories. Those other factories are as good as building it as we are. One question that we, we hear every now and then is, um, why isn't your product made in Canada anymore? Why is it made you know, in China or Vietnam? The time we chose to go offshore, I don't think it's so much that we made the choice, but it was actually made for us, simply by our own brand success. We simply outgrew the domestic manufacturing environment and it became very difficult for our own factory to find skilled workers and scale up as fast as the brand was growing. At that time, you know, almost 15 years ago, Made in China had this stigma that it was lower quality. And that was really unfortunate because some of the best skilled talent was from China for doing premium and high-end sewing just wasn't well understood by the rest of the world. It wasn't taken lightly at first because we obviously wanted to make sure that our quality was just as high out of our contractors in Asia as it is in our Vancouver factory. We build products in fairly unique ways, and so the fact that we have the Vancouver factory really enables us to get the quality we expect and take that knowledge and deliver it into other factories around the world. I send the people regular visits, and Arcteris also send their people visit our factory. All these regular visits, I think, it's a help to understand each other more close with the quality standard. A lot of people would think when the garment factory may be kind of dirty or small, you know, the poor working conditions. You know, our factory is not. For us, it's very convincing that the quality of the offshore is not different than quality from Canada and I think we made it to the factory. We want to have a relationship because if you have a good relationship with the team, even with the operator, usually when I go to factory, you know, on the corner of the factory, somebody sitting doing the small things. I have to go and meet that person too because those are the people, they do most important part of the things, very, very small things that become a bigger component. When we first started, the big challenge we we're facing is the procedure of productions is so complicated. It's like not normal manufacturing garments. Customers also, they visit our factory. At the beginning, they think to make garment is very easy, very simple. But when they just tour in the factory, they realize this is how much difficult. And then they think some different mind. Most of the people, they don't understand the complexity of the production. For example, harnesses is so complex, so complicated. It's just craftsmanship, it's not just a cut and sew. From our working point of view, we notice Actaris production is so accuracy for everything. You have to know taping, you have to know the pressing and the sewing. It is an art, it's a skill. It's like tailoring is an art that's dying. People need to understand and value that.
if you say tailor, people think, great, that's a skill, it's a profession. If you say sewer, people think it's less of a profession. But the sewer and the tailor are very much equals. If there's anything I want consumers to understand about manufacturing, is simply that there's a lot of people behind that one piece of product that they just purchased at the store. The reality of every single piece that you buy um, is this concept that they're made by machines and they're not made by machines, they're made by human beings. They're not built by robots. Right, it's not automation, it's people who are craftspeople. It's individual, highly skilled people putting all of that product together. They really, really care about what they do. I just think maybe if uh, people buy, they will appreciate what we do here and how much work is in there. Uh, شغيلة أو غير باقي اللي عم يشتغلوا هون أعمل شيء أكبر بهالشركة يعني. I think that we're still very aware in our consciousness that there's a crew of people who are taking our work and moving it forward every day. Everything is connected. It's just this amazing map. People here are really passionate about what they do, really proud of what they do. And that payback, that investment of time and energy really shows in the product. And that's what we do here.